It's always nice when you can do some improvements, some updates. If you've been following us at all here on our devotionals, you know that we just put new carpet on the platform. Looks really nice. You know that new carpet smell? There's something about when things are new and improved and nice. You just, it just makes you feel good. Well, my friend, we want to make the house of God as nice as possible. Recognizing and realizing that the house of God really is where we gather together to meet with him. But wherever you are, it's God's house. Because God lives inside of us as we go forth. Hi, I'm Craig Fritzley, pastor of Calvary Apostolic Tabernacle with today's devotional. And God wants you to allow him access to your life. The Bible says then you become the temple of the Holy Ghost. That place that God put inside of you, that reserve there for him. He's just waiting for you to open it up, to unlock it. So that he can fill you with his presence and that he can be with you everywhere that you go. So it's not just in a, a building, not just in a church, not just in your home, but in your car, outside, on your job, in school, wherever it might be. That's the house of God. Because God is everywhere. God fills all time and all space. And God will not be confined to a certain area. So wherever you go, God's there. Whatever time of your life it is, God is right there. And God is walking with us as we go through situations because he's a God that occupies everything. There's no one like him. There's no one beside him. There's no one greater than him. He's our God. And so remember, we come to the house of God. When we come into the house of God, into the church, God's already here. Why? Because he was everywhere. When we go to our jobs, he's there. When you go home, he's there. Wherever you go, that's God's house. Because you're God's kid. You've been made in the image of God. He loves you. He cares about you. And he's just waiting for you to allow him to direct you and guide you, to help you to grow and to become the person that he's already envisioned for you to be. He has a plan for your life and he wants to fulfill it. So say yes to God. Yes, fill my life, God, and lead me. Help me to grow. Help me to learn. Help me to mature and to be more like you. I want to reflect your image in everything that I do. God bless you. We hope you share this with others. You have a wonderful day. We'll see you on the next devotional.